Really, especially the insurance companies lately are very cognizant of the issues of smoking in relation to surgery. Oh, okay. So in and of itself, smoking, especially if you have to have a general anesthetic, your risk for respiratory issues, pneumonias, mm. things like that, yeah. um, you know, go up, you know, from related to smoking. Yeah. Um, smokers have a higher risk of having a DVT, so blood clot. Okay. Um, so if you have a blood clot, now you're on a blood thinner for, you know, months, you know, or, and if that, if the blood clot breaks off, it can go to your heart and lungs, yeah. it can kill you. Right. So those are significant risks. Um, and then in specifically to spine surgery, the nic it's the nicotine, it's not always the, the, oh. the smoking. So okay. even chewing tobacco, vaping, anything that has nicotine in it, actually causes what we call vasoconstriction. So it um, causes the blood vessels to tighten down. Mm. And when that happens, there's less blood flow to the tissues, so there's less oxygen being delivered and less nutrients. So your risk for an infection goes way up. If it's spine surgery and you're having a fusion, your risk for it to not fuse, not to heal, mm. goes way up. Yeah. And so if that happens, that's when you hear of screws loosening, oh, gosh, rods yeah. breaking, you know, uh, all those things yeah. that you don't want to see happen. So there's true things that are like, we're, it's, a, it's a patient safety issue. Yeah. And we're trying to avoid complications. So it's in the patient's best interest. Well, in general, it's just a good lifestyle change. I mean, yeah. I, I've never smoked, but I, I've heard that it's horrendously difficult to stop. So, I mean, I do sympathize. Yeah. It's, it's especially if you're somebody who's been doing it for a really long time. Right. But I can, yeah, I can understand that. I didn't realize it was an issue with the insurance companies either. That they yeah, so a lot of their, their insurance now company, companies now are being very uh, protective of, you know, the cost for surgeries. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. if there is a modifiable risk factor, then okay. we want to try to you know, work on that. Yeah. Um, it's just like patients who are diabetic. If their sure. blood sugars are uncontrolled and their hemoglobin A1C is very high, yeah. their risk for complications, non-healing, wound drainage, infections go up. So these yeah. are things that we want to, you know, we want the patient to have the best outcome possible. Yeah. And so if there's something we can modify, we want to do that before putting a patient through the risk of a surgery. I mean, I guess if you think about it, it's an investment in yourself. Yes. So, I mean, there's a lot that goes into it yeah. beforehand and after. So. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that we've gotten to stop smoking. Yeah. And they're like, Dr. Smith, I'm doing great after my surgery, but you know what? The best thing was I stopped smoking. Yeah. I feel so much better now that I stopped smoking. Yeah. Um, and so I've heard that time and time again. Wow. So. Kudos to people who can do it. And it saves you money. Yeah. So a good, good move.